this is surface area of a triangular prism. These are some notes that we're going to go over real quick. We want to find the surface area of everything. If this was a ramp and I want to paint it with um, paint it, I need to find the surface area to see how much paint I would go and buy. Because usually it'll tell you how much a gallon covers and all that kind of stuff. So you kind of need to know the surface area and how much paint that you'll need to buy. So triangular prisms, when you have a base, the base has to be parallel to the other base. And there's only two of them. It's got to sit on one base, and the base that's parallel opposite of it would be the, top, the lid, the top. So let's look at this example for the front and back. So this triangular piece right here, if I were to say the base, this would be your base. Okay. The area, the formula for an area of a triangle is one half base times height. And always, always, always look for the right angle to find your height. Your height has to make a right angle with the base. So my base here would be three centimeters and four centimeters. Let's see the top. would be right here on top. You have to visually see it. We have um, some tangible nets that if you would like to, just let us know. But the top of it is a rectangle, so the area of it is base times height or length times width. Okay, so it would be 11 by 5. And then the bottom, the bottom that I see would be right here. So the bottom would be 11 by 4 centimeters. And again, base times height or length times width. And then the side one is going to be this one on the side over here. You have to be able to visually see the sides. So you, you can either draw it out or draw the net and label them all if that would help you. So the height of my side would be 3. And again, the length is going to be 11 centimeters. Again, base times height or length times width. So use the above picture to find the surface area of a triangular figure. And because these are triangles, we have a front and a back of your bases. So it's going to be 2 times base times height divided by 2. Okay, that takes care of my, my bases, my front and back. Plus, my next one would be 5 times 11 plus 4 times 11 plus 3 times 11. And that would be the total area, the total surface area of this figure. So, oops, I didn't plug in those numbers. This would be 3 times 4. So 3 times 4 is 12, divided by 2 is 6, times 2 is 12, plus 5 times 11 is 55, plus 4 times 11 is 44, plus 3 times 11 is 33. Add all of those up to get your total surface area, and I believe you come out with 144 centimeters squared. Okay, so for your homework today, I know writing the formula is going to be the same, but I want to make sure that you are lining up your sides with the formula. Because some of this is deceiving. Some of you are forgetting to look for your right angle. That that gives you your height. Okay. So let's look at your homework. And I am going to write on my notebook paper. You have the 
answer document that she wants you to fill out that's like this. Okay, so you're going to write your formula, then you're going to fill in your formula and show all your multiplication and show your answer. Everything needs to be filled up in here. Formula, fill in your formula with your, your numbers, show all of your multiplication. If you need to use another sheet of paper, please do that. And your answer is right here. But, but for my sake, I'm just going to write it out on notebook paper. Okay, so number one. Remember, your formula is going to be 2 times base times height divided by 2 plus base times height plus base times height plus base times height. You have a front and a back. There's your base. You have three other sides. One, two, three. Okay. So let's look at number one for my base. There's my height, so here's my base. This is an equilateral triangle. So two base times height would be six times 5.2 divided by two plus one of my sides is going to be 14 by 16. 14 times six, my bad. Let me get my glasses on. And the other side looks to be the same thing because it's an equilateral triangle. So 14 times 6 plus 14 times 6 because it's an equilateral triangle. Now then, you do your work. Show it. Number 2. Same formula. I'm not going to waste my time writing this formula out because you need to write it out on every single problem. I'm going to help you set it up. So here is your height, because there is my right angle. So here is your base of the, of the base. Okay, so you have two bases. Your base is 2.6 times your height. And look here, this tells you your height is 3. Okay. Divided by 2 because it's a triangle. Plus, now my other sides. 6.5 times 3 plus 6.5 times 2.6 plus 6.5 times 4. Whoops, I don't need that there. That would be an equal sign. So show all of your work. Number three, again, write your formula out. My bases are here, they're triangles. Here is my height. So this is the base of the triangle, this is the height. Height is 12 inches. So two of those, and you have 12 inches times, and this lets me know that that's, for, that's how long the base is, 23.2 divided by 2, because that's the formula for the triangle. Then we're having to add the other side. So, plus, point. oh, wait, no, I was going to give you the answers. No, 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 no. Okay. going to be 17 times 24 plus 16.4 times 24 plus 23 times uh, 0.2 times 24. Okay, so here's a side. Oh, no, 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 no. This is a side. This is a side. And this is a side. 
so number four. Write your formula out and let's fill it in. So number four, you write your formula out and I'm going to help you fill it in. Here is your base. Here is your right angle. This is your height and this is your base, which would be six. So, 6 times 2.5 divided by 2, we're going to have to multiply that by 2, plus we have 8 times 6 plus 8 times 6.5 times 2.5. So again, this is my base, this is a side, this is a side, this is a side. Show your work. Number five. This is your base, this is your height. So if six is my height, this is my base of the triangle. So 2 times 6 times 12 divided by 2 plus, okay, that had to do with my top and bottom. Then we're going to have 12 times 15. Then we're going to have 13.4 times 15 plus 6 times 15. So there's one side, there's one side, there's one side, and there's my base. Number 6. So again, here's your basis. Here's your height. That's your height, this is your base. Number six, write your formula out. And I'm gonna help you fill it in. So your triangle bases, there's two of them. Your height is five, or your base is five, your height is 4.3, so multiply those together, divide by two, plus 12 by five, plus 12 by 5, it's an equilateral, 12 by 5. One side, two sides, three sides, plus your bases. And then number 7. So again, this front is your base. Remember base two parallel, they're parallel, that they stand on, a top and a bottom. So, two of them, you write your formula out, then you have your height of 12 and your base is 24.5 divided by 2 because that's the formula for a triangle, and then let's add your sides together. 4 inches times 17.1 plus 4 inches times 24.5 plus 4 inches times 17.1 because these two sides will be the same. So there's one side, two sides, three sides, and my base. All right. So at least you should have them set up correctly. You do your math correctly. You should make a hundred. Good luck.